Okay, so Andrew Jackson was the seventh president of the United States from 1829 to 1837. Early life. He was born in 1767 uh, to a family of immigrants, and he was involved in the American Revolution, which his family supported, uh, and he acted as a courier. Uh, after the Revolution, he moved out to the frontier in what is now Tennessee and um, started a law practice um, where he became known for his ruthless tactics and lack of education. Um, he was eventually elected into the House of Representatives and the Senate after that. Okay. His rise to prominence. Um, he became famous during the War of 1812 where he was a general. Uh, most notably when he defeated the British at the Battle of New Orleans. Um, and that sort of is what rallied a lot of political support behind him. Um, after he was elected to the Senate, he eventually decided to run for president in the election of 1824 against uh, John Quincy Adams. And uh, he actually won won the popular vote and won more electoral votes than any other candidate, but was but was not elected. John Quincy Adams was elected, um, which he, he Jackson claimed he lost by a corrupt bargain between um, John Quincy Adams and Henry Clay, who was the Speaker of the House, which sort of enraged Jackson a lot. Okay, uh, he ran. He ran against Adams again in 1828 and won. Uh, he had and he had a lot of support from the West, like the frontier lands in the Mid Atlantic, New York and Virginia. Um, and the election of 1828 was notable because uh, between between 1824 when he lost to Adams and when he ran again, he he campaigned. He was on the camp campaign trail. So this is really the first election where you really see uh, the presidential candidates like getting out on the road and you know campaigning, and it was it's also uh, important in that um, voter turnout really expanded. So you start seeing the universal white male suffrage stuff around this time. Uh, his domestic policy once he's elected. Um, one of his big domestic um, initiatives was to uh, to kill the Bank of the United States, which, you know, which is called the Bank War now. Uh, he thought, you know, the Bank of the United States was is ba was basically um, a government. It was a private corporation, but it was basically a government-funded monopoly. So Jackson, you know, being the so-called like representative of the common man and the common interest, um, he was, he hated the bank, thought it was, you know, thought it embodied, like, um, the, all the, the elitism and, um, like, financial, financial elitism that he, he so opposed, so he, uh, yeah, he tried to kill the bank, um, for many years, and eventually, eventually vetoed its rechartering, and um that yeah he had he had basically dismantled it by the time um the charter expired in 1836 so that was that was one of his big policy wins there um the other one the nullification crisis when south carolina the state of south carolina um attempted to nullify some federal tariffs that it didn't like basically the, the tariff of abominations was, was the big one um so jackson jackson threatened uh to send in troops to south carolina if they attempted to secede so that's where you first see like the um talk of secession really besides the war of 1812 and 
um, it sort of it really strengthened the presidency. You know, Jackson basically told him who was boss. So yeah, and then um, Indian removal is really um, you know, the low point I think of his uh, domestic program. He he signed the uh, the Indian Removal Act, which basically gave him the power to displace, relocate um, native tribes in the South, and which which led to a lot of you know bloodshed. The Trail of Tears occurred, sort of in in response to this, which Jackson set in motion, and then the um, the spoil system. So that was sort of characteristic of um, his presidency. Foreign policy. Um, you know, he, Jackson didn't really uh, run into much opposition here. You know, his, um, his, pe his people negotiated a number of uh, foreign trade agreements with other countries you know, opening opening up uh, trade relations with them and then um, he actually brought well you know the U the US was actually brought uh, to the brink to the brink of war with France over when France you know um, hesitated to pay some indemnities that it owed to the United States, and then Jackson, being his boisterous self, sort of uh, refused to back down, and then France refused to back down, and then you know the ministers were recalled, but it was eventually defused by the Congress, and then Jackson um, tried repeatedly to for, to purchase Texas from Mexico, uh, which. You know, all of which failed, of course. Um, and that sort of sowed the seeds of, you know, conflict between the United States and Mexico. We, we, you know, we went to war with them later. So, yeah.